Hi guys, today I'm going to go through some built-in templates in Fusion that comes free with it. You don't have to do anything, they're just pre-composed and you can use them. Let's go to Fusion. Then we go to Effects, under Effects. If, you are not, if it's not open, just click on it again. Then you see under Effects, we go to Templates. Then you go to Fusion. Under Fusion, you see a bunch of things. Let me collapse this to see. Ignore video editor. That's something I installed. You may check him out. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel in the description. He puts out great tutorials and it gives out a ton of free stuff. Check him out, please. Then um, here we move on to backgrounds. There are a ton of things here. Just check them out. Just click on it. Bam, and you have this on your note grid. If I play this back. It's kind of system intensive, but you see what it's doing. So it's they're just crazy stuff in here. If I go back here to play it out to see what it's doing there, that's some crazy stuff. I haven't done anything, I just put this in your comp or just export it out and use it as a background on a LED or big screen and all that. And it's just crazy stuff, all built in. You know, you don't have to do a thing, there are a bunch of backgrounds here. Um, let me see, there's this one I'd like to show you, visualizer, it's like an audio visualizer of sorts. If I click on this and I play it, it's just generic, it's not audio driven. There are ways to get it audio driven, but I won't go into that in this tutorial. I just wanted to show you what is inbuilt in Fusion. Let's close that, stop playing. Let's move on to the next one, generators. I want to go through everything, right? Let's pick one. Um, let's pick checker. And connect that to media out. If I click on checker, you see the adjustments I can make here. Can reduce the size. And all that, and I can change the angle without having to recreate this. It's already been created for us. So just use it in your comps. Let's move on to how to. How to basically shows you then all the names here shows you how you can use this place 2D, ambient occlusion, that, then very blur reflections, a lot, right? I won't go into all of this. Lens flares, you can add lens flares to your videos. Let's say I bring this in here. Um, I think I have uh, media in here. Let's say I bring this here and I connect this here. Connect this to media out. See this lens flare here. So I can reduce it, I can increase it, I can increase the hospital size, I can reduce it, animate it and make it look a little good. Um, so let's just disconnect that, disconnect this, put this aside, go back to where we were. That's for less layers, a ton of them here, you can pick any one you want to use. Then looks, posterize basically does what it says on the tin. If you collect that media out to see that, so I can increase the smoothness, I can reduce the smoothness, something like that. All built into Fusion. Then we go to motion graphics. I'm just gonna pick one of this. Let's say I pick radar. And I press to so I click out of it and I play it. Then um Let's move on to particles. Now here, things get crazy. Let me show you this. Let's drag this blue and leaves one out here and press two on the keyboard to show it. Let's play it. Do you see this? This this looks like actual leaves blowing in the wind. It's crazy, right? Guys, it's crazy. Ch check it out. Anyway. Let's move on. I'm not going to go through all of this. You can check them out by just clicking on them, dragging them to node grid and pressing two on the keyboard to show them. And um, you can also make adjustments within it. You know, they are all things, turbulence and all that. You can make adjustments, but I want to go into all of that. I'll just select all this and delete it. Let's go on to shaders. You've seen me use shaders a lot from the shader section on the Fusion. A bunch of them here. I typically have a thing for Chrome. Uh -huh. But that's, you can just, if you want to use it in uh, 3D nodes, just let's say I bring you a text node, I type resolve. Can bring in Chrome. 
can just bring in a replace material 3d add that in the mix connect this to that and connect this to that and bam we have the chrome reflection on the text i can extrude the text and um yeah so you see the shininess of the edges a bit more and that's basically how you apply the shaders then go into styles text which is what brought me here in the first instance these are built-in text effects in fusion i'm going to go through one or two of them that i really really like the first one this 3d follower i like it i bring it to the viewer play it see that i like that so if i go back and play it's beautiful stuff let's delete it let's go back there's one towards the end that i really like if you go to let's see um hitometer there's two on the keyboard to bring it to the viewer let's play it this is crazy all built into fusion you don't have to do a thing now the only challenge with this is this is not counting in seconds see my project settings says 24 frames per second right this is not 24 frames per second so to adjust this i can just go to this first transform here go to modifiers see these keyframes here go to where this keyframe is at let's now click on keyframes drop down zoom to fit so what i'll do is I will move this frame to frame 23. You know, 0 to 23 is 24 frames. And I'm going to drag this particular keyframe to that point and close keyframe. Now, this particular counter now, if I go to the edit page, I can drag it to whatever length I want it to count accurate to the second. Then, let me go. There's one other one I really like. This. If I drag this to the viewer, Let's see, we play this. Do you see that? This is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. In fact, let's say we bring a background node. And we decide to um, match that on top of that. It's here. See the effect a whole lot more. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. So that's it guys i just want to show you a few built-in things in fusion you can go there once again it's under effects you go to per templates you go to fusion then you see a bunch of them here this qatar vr keycast shaders all i installed from react so i'm going to skip those because i'm going to assume some of us can't even install reactor right now because you're on davinci resolve 18.5 this is just a quick shot one to show you some built-in things. Hope you had fun with this. See you on the next one. Cheers.